Welcome to Drive Electric. We are at our local Ford dealer and we're going to find out exactly what does it cost to replace the battery on this F-150 Lightning. All right guys, let's go inside and find the service manager to see exactly how much this will cost. Thank you, bye-bye. Hey, how are you doing? Hey man. Do you mind doing me a huge favor? Sure. I've got an F-150 Lightning. I've had a lot of people ask me, what does it cost to replace that battery if that battery was to go out? I'm kind of curious on the cost of replacing a battery on an F-150 Lightning and then maybe comparing that to a 5.0. Do you mind doing that for me? Uh, no problem whatsoever. Let's go back to the office. To do All right, that. sounds okay. good. All right, so a huge thanks to Mr. Brasher, uh, the, the guy that you just met there. He got us all of the information that we needed for this particular estimate, this quote. Uh, but not only that, but we also got the extended range as well as the standard range. And uh, we also got the quote for replacing an engine just like in your vehicle. So tell us a little bit about what you drive. I have a 2021 F-150 with a 5.0 V8 engine. Five, five point slow or 5.0? 5.0. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. I, I have to say that because the F-150 Lightning is ridiculously fast, but as you guys are about to find out, it may not be cost effective. Maybe, maybe not. You're gonna have to stay all the way through the video. So the, before I, I get into these specifics uh, on exactly what it cost, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the fuel economy between those two. In fact, do you mind covering that for sure. us? So this is a comparison with driving 20,000 miles per year and 55% of that is city driving. So you're gonna get a combo of 70 MPGE on the Lightning, so that's about 78 city, 63 highway. Okay. And then with the gasoline engine, you're gonna get about 19 uh, combined, that's 16 city, 22 highway. So so th this was calculated using how many years? Was it 10, I believe it was? Yes, this years? is 10 years. Okay. Yep. What kind of cost of electricity and fuel are you using uh, to come up with that, those particular numbers? So this is using the um, national average, which is $3.93 per gallon. Okay. And, and then for so, the, the electricity mm -hmm. is 14 cents a kilowatt hour. Yes. Now that's supposed to be the national average, but I can actually attest to that because that's what I pay on my electric bill mm -hmm. um, here at Alabama Power. But keep in mind that everybody is going to be in a different rate depending on which municipality or which kind of power company are you using. So exactly. what is the, over the course of those 10 years and 20,000 miles a year, that's 200,000 miles, right? Mm -hmm. So what kind of fuel cost are we going to be looking at between those two? Grand total. So the Lightning is going to get about you're going to be paying about 13420 over the span of that 10 years. Okay. And then the gasoline is going to be about 40000 over the span of 10 years. So it's a wow. huge difference. Wow. So you're talking about saving $26,580 over those course of those 10 years uh, if you drive 20,000 miles a year. Keep in mind, we just kind of wanted to use a nice round number of 200,000 miles. Uh, so it saves you uh, $27,000. I know a lot of people get like free charging at work mm -hmm. or they might get free charging at the um, the parking deck that they frequent or something like that. That can obviously uh, affect that. I don't know of any gas stations giving out any free gas. Exactly. But, <laughs> but, but, but you do have the ability to, in some situations, get some free electricity or semi-free. So interesting to know $26,580 is the difference. Now I want to jump into the actual cost to replace the battery. For this portion, I busted out the laptop to actually put it into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, there's a couple of things that is important to know it, before we jump into the cost, is that the battery, you can either buy it as a complete battery pack or you can actually replace the modules. A lot of people don't realize that when you have a battery that goes bad, it's usually a specific cell. And what they've done is, and I don't know if it's eight or 10, uh, but Mr. Brasher, who's gonna be featured in another video that we've got, I'll have that linked just below the like button. Uh, we're gonna do like a full podcast style interview with him. And I mean, he's a, a genius when it comes to Ford EVs. And he's also an F-150 Lightning owner his, himself. So we're gonna cover that in another video. So make sure you stick around to, to catch that video. But what he laid out was the overall cost of the actual battery and the modules themselves. So let's just talk about the modules. The, each of those modules, if you have that one specific cell that goes out, you don't have to replace this massive battery pack. You can just replace uh, one of those modules and the modules are like $4,400 a piece. Uh, thankfully, the labor doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that crazy, Not, nothing like uh, swapping out an engine, um, but $4,400 is a lot less expensive than having to buy the whole battery pack, which by the way, the grand total cost for that battery pack 
is $35,960 for just the part. <laughs> no tax, no installation, nothing. But when you factor in the labor, um, Ford is actually estimating 3.3 hours of repair time to replace that whole battery pack. Um, and we rounded it up because sometimes Ford's a little shy on those, those what they pay. Um, so we just used, I think, five hours. So you're looking at $675 to install that battery pack. You're looking at sales tax at our local uh, tax rate at 10% means that if you have to replace the entire battery pack on that vehicle, you're looking at $40,231, <laughs> grand. Um, it wasn't that long ago where you could buy four really nice vehicles for that price. But anyways, that's, um, that, that's, that's, that's irrelevant. Let's, let's jump on down to the standard range because obviously it's got the smaller battery. It's not as expensive. Uh, grand total for installation, tax, everything on that is $32,086. So you're saving about eight grand just to go with that standard range. But I wanted to know, what does it cost to you know, comparatively for a full 5.0 F-150 engine. Do you mind telling us a little bit about that cost? Sure. So if my engine was to blow up tomorrow, this is how much it's going to cost to replace the 5.0 engine. So just the parts alone is going to be about $10,218. Um, the labor to install is a lot more intensive, about 15 hours as opposed to that 3.3, and that's going to be about $2,025. Um, and then sales tax, everything included, is going to be a total of 13264 Ooh, so that's quite the swing between the the cost, forty grand compared to thirteen grand. Pick the small number, right? I know this doesn't sound like we're an EV channel at this point, but I, I kind of have a, a pretty um, compelling argument to kind of go back over that. You know, I want to bring back in those fuel economies that you brought up a little bit earlier. You know, if you look at the cost to replace the battery and the fuel savings over the two hundred thousand miles. You know, if you look at that total cost to own, the total cost of ownership. So um, let's, let's just, I guess let me back up just a second and say, if you have an F-150 Lightning and you drive it exactly 200,000 miles and the battery goes out and you have to replace the whole thing. Once again, you could just replace a module, but let's just pretend it's a nuclear worst case scenario. Um, so 200,000 miles, you have to replace the whole battery. Drive an F-150, 5.0, drive your truck, yep. 200,000 miles. In the same thing, worst case scenario happens, you have to replace that whole engine. If they both make it that same exact distance, uh, the lightning, you know, between the, the cost of the engine or the, the battery, the cost of the installation, the tax, the, rep the repair total, and the cost of the fuel savings, you're going to spend $53,651, $53,651. In your 5.0, once you factor in the fuel that you're having to pay, the higher price of fuel, you're going to end up having to pay $53,264. So you're really talking about, I guess at the end of the day, the, the whole analysis on this is that the break-even point on the, the maintenance in the fuel on this particular vehicle is 200,000 miles. The battery's got to make it 200,000 miles. The motors have got to make it 200,000. And we didn't even cover cost of motors. Mm -hmm. But we also didn't cover the cost of transmissions. Yep. Exactly. So, you know, how crazy granular do we need to get we're just trying to because that's the biggest argument that i get is oh the batteries are not going to last that's why i wanted to cover this mm -hmm. but just know that if you're buying the f-150 lightning you've got to drive it 200,000 miles battery free problems before it comes into the same pricing point as your 5.0 va mm -hmm. now keep in mind that this is not a complete set of data because you also have the f-150 lightning is a more expensive vehicle than the than the, the 5.0. We're not going to get into the cost of what, you know, the, the extra how many ever thousands of dollars you've got to spend to buy the Lightning because I don't want us to sound like we're anti-EV <laughs> on an EV channel, but I thought it would be fun to run these cost scenarios. And yeah, at the end of the day, 200,000 miles. That is your break-even point on the battery for the F-150 Lightning. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch the detailed uh, interview that we did with Mr. Brasher. That link is going to be located just below that like button and have a great day. Peace.